Hello friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut and edited no ball video. Today's video about Tefal multi cooker or I call it pressure cooker. Um, the reason for this video is uh, a year ago I bought uh, Philips pressure cooker and it was great, uh, not ideal but still great and I started to uh, look for something alternative and here's a Tefal. So I will create uh, three videos in this series. The first video will be quite short, it's today's video. It, it's about unpacking, seeing what's in the box and how it looks like, first impressions. The second video I will be comparing uh, Tefal to Philips and the third video will be about thoughts which pressure cooker would keep and the uh, difference between them. So, uh, just uh, quick before I start, I was away from my channel for three months and did not create any videos. Um, and I was focusing on replying to all people's comments uh, on my previous videos. So here me, I'm trying to kind of position my channel where I'm at and um, explain to people that I don't make me any money from this channel. Uh, the whole idea of this channel is to help people like myself to make uh, their own choices with uh, uh, things they buy and if things not working well, uh, help people to uh, navigate through those uh, problems. People asking me how they can support channel. Um, look, I, I think I, I I'm not making any money on the channel and uh, I'm not planning to make any money on the channel but if you still wish to support my channel please subscribe, like, comment on my videos and also in the description below uh, of the video I post links uh, where I get in my stuff. Um, clicking on those links provides me a little bit of support and drives my channel. So, um, thank you so much for watching and, 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 and helping me out. But now I'll go uh, into unpacking this uh, pressure cooker. So first I will uh, open up the box and see what's inside. Uh, what I'm looking for in this pressure cooker is, uh, Philips is great pressure cooker, but the cooking bowl is quite small, I think it's five liter. So this one's supposed to be a little bit bigger. Let's see what it is. But uh, the first impression is it's actually packaged quite well, nothing rattles. Uh, on top we have um, quite thick foam and um, there's uh, instructions and I think cookbook uh, and also power cord and that was holding the top lid of the cooker. Put it aside. Now inside we've got pressure cooker itself and box becomes empty. So I just take the box down and unpack pressure cooker on top. Um, it looked on the picture that it's a small pressure cooker. It's a bit deceptive because actually the pressure cooker um, same size or bigger than Philips and um, it's quite heavy. It's not it's not really really heavy, but it's quite heavy and it looks like really well made. Let's open it up and see what's inside. So I think almost same concept as Philips, um, just a little bit, I think, better made. Philips got a couple of uh, loose parts, so it's really nice and I think quite quality um, build from my first impressions. All right, what's inside? I think I need to read manual, um, stand for something, maybe for baking, but I need to read manual. And we've got a scoop and a measuring cup. Put this one aside. And we've got a bowl that looks like bigger than Philips bowl. Oh, that's quite awesome. So we've got also I'm not sure if it's visible with the measuring uh, right inside the bowl. In the Philips, it's kind of the same, but it's not colored, so it's really hard to see. It's beautiful. And also, what I can say, the bowl is bigger, and I'm looking forward uh, because some cuts of meat that I'm cooking, they um, pre cut them like um, 
and long sizes and they don't fit in a, in a Philips cooker so I have to uh, cut them in pieces so it's really nice that the bowl is a little bit bigger uh, what else nothing inside I think it's the uh, heating element and um, to be honest quite simple um, feels uh, a little bit better made than Philips there's nothing wrong with Philips I'm just comparing uh, two of those and uh, not sure how easy to navigate there were a couple of things uh, with Philips that I didn't like and I'm looking forward in this one to discover if it's better same or worse what did you like in Philips inside the top lid the uh, silicon uh, seal was always fallen off the uh, pressure kind of uh, membrane and also uh, sometimes I needed to steam not steam uh, pressure cook more than an hour and Philips would go to 59 minutes and then stop so if you would like for example to pressure cook for uh, one hour 20 minutes you need to stop after an hour and repressurize cooker and, 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 and cook again so it was a huge inconvenience I hope to file is better in that sense and uh, easier cook as well so what first impressions are quality materials um, really nice finishes I really like what I see um, it's very simply um, packaged and packaged quite well so uh, the only things for now Philips cost a little bit less than Tefal. I'm not sure what the price difference would indicate on quality. So I think Tefal costs close to uh, $260 when Philips I could buy, I think, $469. So it's $100 difference in Australia. Uh, and I'm not sure whether Tefal would be $100 better. But the biggest thing is not only quality, there's a bigger bowl. And, and I think Philips in a with the, the version with the bigger ball um, costs around $260 as well so I know I spoke a lot about things that probably don't make sense I just want to create first impressions and um, we'll create a, another video after cooking my first meal thank you so much for watching Greg from Brisbane Australia until next time